Hello again, people. It's Delvon Johnson, your host for Fashion Etc. And Yvonne Forbes, your other host for Fashion Etc. And we would like to welcome you once again to another vivacious <laughs> show of our fabulous show. So what's been going on this morning? Well, before we even go into um, talking about what's been going on, let's let everybody know that you can um, check in with us on my Facebook page, Yvonne Miss Diva Das Forbes. Uh-huh. And also Delvon Johnson's page, Delvon Johnson. That's it. And again, this is Fashion Etc. Talk Show, right? Yes. On yes. Facebook. And we're we gonna be Dawn and Honey. Yeah, we're gonna be hitting your houses, like I said, on your phones, uh, five days a week, Monday to Fridays from twelve PM to one PM. And this is a great time for you when you're taking your lunch break. You yes. Can just, uh, oh, you yes. Know, are we are we are drinking, honey? Oh yeah, you know uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. Honey. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. So, um, yeah, what's been going on? How's it going? Well, after yesterday, I was exhausted. I can't even lie. You know, usually Tuesday night is my night to go out. Shout out to Rio's and Miss Teresa. But last night I was just exhausted. And I made it. Uh, um, what um, I was watching Homeland Security, Homeland. No, not Homeland Security. Homeland, the TV show Homeland on Showtime. Mm-hmm. But it was like I binge watched. I was watching like two o'clock in the morning. I wasn't out of bed. I ordered food. I was just out of it. You didn't notice anything different about me today. I was expecting you to compliment me. What's your earring? No. Well, yeah, my earring. Thank you for my birthday, my Christmas gift. I yes. Love it. Yeah. But what else is different? Um. Your hair? Of course. Well, girl, you change your hair. You change your hair like underwear, honey. We already know that. <laughs> Everybody who knows Miss Miss Diva Daz knows that she got her hair style every single day, honey. Hi, Lisa. Oh my gosh, Alicia is back home with us today. I see Tim is here. And Tim is here. He wasn't here yesterday, honey. Where was you working? Yes. Alicia, I hope everything's going well. I hope your Dr. Oz taping went well yesterday. I think you were at Dr. Oz with Tecla. But uh welcome again for our lunch break. Um Shenanigans, shall I say? Yes, but well, you know. The shenanigans. No, I don't do the shenanigans. I'm the good girl. Girl, here you go starting. <laughs> here you go showing even five minutes into play. You starting already. <laughs> you looking quite dapper today, oh, though. Thank I'm, I'm, you. Loving you. I, I'm liking how we're kind of like doing the orange thing. I know. Oh, oh, yeah. Are you cute? Oh, yeah, I'm cute too. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you go. Hi, Sandra. How are you? And it's, the weather is uh, frightful outside. We already have two people that want to come on board. So I just see. give us a few minutes and we'll, we'll, we'll chime in if, you, uh, if you're not in any rush. Um, Harold Hart is on. Wow. Oh, this is great. So, and, and Nathan James. Nathan, so we're looking at Nathan is always in the building, honey. <laughs> up, up in Pennsylvania in the woods, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna drink, what, what are you drinking? I do we have the same wine. No, I got Pinot. Oh, I have any Moscato people out there? Any Pinot Grigio people in the building? Because, mm. you know, I can't do sweet. Mm. This is going to be gone by the end of the show. So if I get a little wishy-washy, like about 12.45, <laughs> you understand Listen, why. <laughs> you know, I don't do the drinking thing during days. This is a bit much for me, but... Hi, Kimberly Allen. Hi. Alexander Pissios. Uh, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Pisios. P- Pisios. Pisios. I think that's how it. Well, I, I, we don't mean to um, mm. dis- mangle your name, so please forgive oh, me. Okay. Oh, Suleiman Hassan Mayat is here. Hi, how are you? So we're going to add some of you people if you guys want to chime in and chat with us. Okay, I think someone is. Uh, Oh, we can't bring Suleiman on camera for some reason. At least that's what it's telling us. Right, right. So, so anybody else that wants to come on board, just uh, oh, I gotta fix my shoe. Wait a minute. I didn't put it all right. Oh, okay, got it. Remember, we are live. So, hi, Keith. 
Hello, Keith. I love Keith. Oh my gosh, he's such a cutie pie. Yeah, I used to work with Keith. Oh, you you know, all the girls, people, girl, you be having people from church and work. <laughs> and, you know, you're just a very worldly person, honey. You're from, you're from all over oh, the place. I love, I adore Keith. Hi, Keith. I'm, I'm so glad you're doing well. And I love the little, your little son is growing up. I've been watching. So I'm, 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 I'm keeping tabs. Hopefully, we can do lunch one day. Anyway, hi, Melinda Jules. Oh, oh, wow. We just got somebody. Uh, Diatra. Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, Diatra. I wonder if she's here in, in, in Atlanta. Are you here in uh, Diatra? Are you here in New York or in Atlanta? Girl, you know, I, 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 I that girl should is have fierce. Said, that girl should is have fierce. The divorce court taping, honey. That was really fierce. So, you know, so we're going to give some more shout outs in a little bit. Like I said, welcome. Anyway, excuse me. What is in the news today? What's in the news? What's going good? I know well, I have a few things that's on my mind that I want to talk about. But well, first of all, I heard that um, Kim and Kanye had their baby. Okay. Wow. And um, I haven't know, had a chance to see any news, so you're gonna have to keep me abreast because I've been so busy with well, my you, mind. Yeah, you know, it's um, the baby apparently is. A... Okay. So I never really could understand how that works. Like, what they. They go find someone and then um, kind of impregnate. Them. It depends. There's different ways of, of doing it. Um, there's a, a, what do you call it? Um, when they plant the, the egg inside. Oh. And, and they take an egg from Kanye and they plant it in K. Oh, okay. I don't think I would want Kanye's eggs anywhere near me. <laughs> That's a little strange. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, um, well congratulations, well, congratulations to them anyway. Cam, congratulations, Kanye. Is he doing a show for Fashion Week this year? Do you know? I don't know, but his shows be really elaborate. I know they're a little elaborate, but sometimes they're a little um, like, for example, I think it was last year he did um, he did a show and it was all nudes, but it had no substance, it had no depth to it. It was yeah, like everyone was, was just... in like brown leotards. Okay, so I've seen brown leotards. But you know, because I guess it's the name. So I think it's just because you know, uh, it's Kanye, right? You know, some people are there. Like, oh, it's it's Kanye show. So you know, that's where all the hype came from. And last year, I know, like all the Kardashians was there, and um, what's uh, Bruce Bruce Jenner? But uh, uh, Caitlyn, 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 yes. sorry. Caitlin was there. Hi, Caitlin. If you're watching. <laughs> Hi, Alex. That's my cousin. I would um, love to meet Caitlin. Anastasia Domashova, welcome. Jennifer George, welcome. Um, and we're glad you're here for our hour show, Mondays through Fridays, 12 to 1. Yes. Fashion, et cetera. And it is fashion, but it's a lot of et cetera. So we, we're going to be talking about that. I wanted to talk about... Um, the the young man that was deported back to Mexico. I'm really upset about that. Oh, I didn't hear about that. I, okay. You said you wasn't watching the news. <laughs> no, but that, that I saw. But you stayed on Facebook. So, so I stayed on yeah. Facebook and on, online, and, and it's been, it seems to be garnering a lot of attention because, for me, I think there needs to be um, a, a, a a line where they should look at each case individually. Mm -hmm. This man was brought here from the age of two. He couldn't help. He was brought by his family. He's paid taxes. He doesn't have a criminal any criminal conviction. He doesn't even have so much as a um, parking ticket. But then they just deported him. He just left yesterday, and they came to his job. Went to his job on Martin Luther King Day, and 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 deported him from his family. Oh, that is hard. And this guy's been working for in this country. He's paid his taxes. I mean, he's he's not a threat to the country. Meanwhile, we have some citizens that live here, and more threat to. To this country, then the foreigners are. I, 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 it just seems to be like this no tolerance or, or, or this blanket um, attitude is not going to work for everybody. There are uh, extenuating circumstances like this young man. I can understand now if you're a criminal, you keep causing a lot of problems. Well, yeah, you do need to go back. You need right. to go somewhere. Right. But you know, this man has paid his dues and he's paid homage to this country, paid his taxes. And you split him up from his family. I mean, my heart went out when I was just watching him being torn from his two kids. Then I was watching something where you have all these medical students. These kids are in medical school. They're oh, ready to graduate. The doctors, the dreamers. Yeah. And they said that if they were deported, they're not going back to their country. They're going to another country. But the thing is, is that these kids were brought here when they were two years old. You, they, you know, you can't, they can't help it. That, that's, 
they didn't do that. Their parents did that. Yeah. You know, and they're paying for the same. So I want people to chime in on that and just let us know yeah, how you feel about it. Give us your opinions on that, because I mean that that is that that that's uh, Donald Trump is just totally tearing this country to shreds. And then to have the nerve to call all these countries, once again, I'm going to say shithole countries. I think I had to laugh because I saw on Facebook, someone, they did a, a light show on his, on his, on his, um, <laughs> on his hotel. And he said shithole hotel. But what confused me was, <laughs> what confused me with the whole shithole situation was, he was like, oh, I didn't say shithole, I said shit house. Mm-mm. Well, what, okay, fine. It, it's, it's if you just, said shit house, then what is it? First of all, what is a shit house, <laughs> and why are you saying it? Like, yeah, what, um, what is happening? It just show, it just shows to me, and uh, he's not eloquent. He doesn't have a great vocabulary, and I'm I'm putting it out there. You do not have a good. Your vocabulary is very poor. It's not eloquent, and I just don't understand how this man can delegate to uh, to other people and be um, uh, um, a negotiator when you don't even have good choice of words to use. That in itself, it's, I know I've never heard of a president. I understand they do, you know, what they call locker room talk, but not when you're in the presence of all these officials. You have to have some kind of decor. You have to have some maintain some kind right. of eloquence and be able to express yourself. Absolutely, using the correct vocabulary. Even if you wanted to denigrate all these countries, use the correct vocabulary so it does not come back and be thrown in your face. Exactly. And get off the Twitter. Can someone please shut down his Twitter? Please, somebody. It's getting ridiculous. I'm at the point now where I'm like, you know what? They need to shut down social media altogether. Yeah. We just yeah. go back to the old telephones with the um the dials with the, with the dials <laughs> and um wrinkly cords, so that all this madness can stop. Because yes. it seems like the internet is what's propelling all of this trauma. Absolutely, I agree with you on that. You know, it gets to the point. They say the internet now is causing depression. Because um, a lot of a lot of people go on the internet, they see what other people are doing, and they they get jealous, and they they don't feel like they've measured up, and it, it's it's you know the, it causes a lot of depression. It does. It does. And, and not only that, people lack sleep. They're on the you know parents are having to force their kids now to get off the phone uh, so they can get enough sleep. You need enough sleep so that um, you you can your brain can function in the morning. It's it's yeah, affecting it, schools. Your education. It magnifies. It magnifies. Everything. Everything. Like when I was a kid. Oh, hey, Steven. Hi. Hi, Sean. Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi, everybody. So uh, for you guys just coming on, this is uh, Fashion Etc. Midday Edition. We coming to... Oh, you're, uh, you're, Amethyst, you are so right. But we'll have to find another means that if they shut down social media, I'll show it. <laughs> we can, you know, you we are so right. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the show. But we, you're absolutely right. We just have to, we just have to find another way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll video tape it. I guess we'll yeah, go back to VHS. We we'll go to YouTube. <laughs> YouTube all exists. Oh, that's true. I really yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and we were thinking about going to Instagram too. Yeah, you know, we'd have to find another way. Hi, Anna. You're welcome for the informative <clears throat> information. Uh, fashion, etc. We're here Mondays through Fridays, uh, twelve to one. Uh, and you can reach out to us on Facebook Live and uh, on my page, if I'm Steven Dan Forbes, on Delvon Johnson. So, well, girl, ain't know that they're there. Well, you know, some of them. So you don't have to tell them you know, again. They can tell everybody. You know, they can tell other people. You know, because people have asked us, "Oh, what page do I go?" But girl, we're not. But they're on it already right well, now. So I know where we I'm are. Being, girl, that's the Moscato talking girl, already. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Yeah, we we do this all the time, banter back and forth. Oh, you know, and those that are watching know us. Yeah. know how we, <laughs> we, you know, they already know. Okay, so what's on to the next subject? What else is going on? Uh, I wanted to um, this. I mean, this is good. I mean, this. I, I know everybody wants is talking about this, and I know this was news, but it continues to be news. Is the Fire and Fury book? Oh, oh, Michael. Well, oh, boy. <laughs> You know that is a hot topic, guys. And and all the little things that are uh, uh, all the the um, the the gossips. I call it gossip, but you know it could be true. We don't know that um, um, Omarosa and Donald Trump had a little thing, was doing a little something. Well, that was last week's news. Huh? I know, but I mean, she you know she she tried to she tried to um, elo- do it eloquently, but she was really a black. She was pissed off. And uh, you know, as they pulled the security, escorted her off the. Uh, no, they threw. They didn't escort her. They threw. They did. No, a they, DJ Jazzy Jazz. They tried. To, 
they tried to do it in a in a manner that was appropriate. But she went around to the quarters of his house, like you know, where he the, the living quarters, right. to try to get confirmation herself that um she was fired. Like on Celebrity Apprentice. And that was when they had to um do the DJ Jazzy Jeff situation and um <laughs> just, throw her into see, the street. Did you have to, did you see the SNL live um skit? On no, that? I didn't she was see in there, she had the boom box and she had the music, she was banging on the window. You know how Alex um um uh the the, the actor that plays uh, Donald Trump on SNL, he um he, <laughs> he's good. Yeah, too. and he was um and then you, it, it was a part that was doing um what, what's the word I'm looking for? All the, the uh, officials that he's been working with, they came in. But then you had uh, Omar Rosa in the outside banging on the window, like, let me in, let me in. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa, how are you? Hi. And who else do we have here? We have Anna. Anna J. Nicole uh, Echoes. I know Anna. She's from, I think you're from Atlanta, or I, I know you've worked with my client before. Uh, come to tell others on Dreamland TV show. Send us a clip. We will give a, you a media boost from around the world. Well, well thank, thank you, you, darling. We appreciate nice? that. That's so nice. That is nice. So, uh, so, yeah, so back to this book. Uh, oh, you know, I stay on uh, CNN and MSNBC. So uh, there are so, first of all, I saw the interview that um, the, that the Today Show had with Michael Wolf, who's the actual author of the book. Right. And he um, basically called Donald Trump a child. He's very childish. They are questioning his psychological capability because they think something is really wrong with him. I mean, come on now. Anybody who is crazy enough to mess with that crazy man <laughs> in um, North Korea and talk about his button is bigger yeah, than man. his button and all of that chaos. But I don't think his button is bigger. Did you see the statue that they made in, in, uh, in New York City? His, his button wasn't big. <laughs> Who's button? Trump's, Trump's button is uh, smaller. I think it is. Yeah, I think so. so I, I, I would not mess with the Korean people unless I'm getting my nails done. I think his because, I think his button is not as not the size that he's claiming it. it and do you see the way those 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 um those uh soldiers be marching? Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to mess with them. I don't want no trouble with these people. I wish he would just squash it and leave it alone. Right now, I'm, yes. I'm, 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 a, I'm just saying. Yeah, I think he needs to leave those people alone. Uh, it, it, I mean, you, we used to think Russia was a threat, but this well, is... well, considering that you know ballistic missiles are coming to our country, and you're still playing golf and denying anything, you need to leave the yes. paper button, the red button, alone, please. Apparently, he was at the golf course. Yes. The golf course where all this was happening with the ballistic missiles in Hawaii, and nevertheless, he refused to make any statements about it what kind of foolishness is, is i just don't understand where we're going with this country i'm telling you um yeah i mean it's uh it, it's it's the moral i just feel like the morale of the country has gone down considerably um there's so much divisiveness you know um the whole uh, black and you know the racism it's just like i, I just feel like trump has made um uh made racism uh, fashionable yes i really do i mean he's a bully to me and I don't, and I, I'm not afraid to say it. You're a bully. You are a bully. And you know, I've seen it through his campaign, and, and and people feel like it's okay now to just bully people. It's okay if you want to voice your opinions, please voice your opinion. But please don't touch people. Stop beating up on people. The police brutality has gone. The increase has gone up. You know, yeah. there's no justice. It's just getting ridiculous. But we still need to speak up and do what's right. And we need to support our communities. We need to stand up and speak up. Don't back down. Um, because then they've won. And you know, they've, uh, you know, in the book, they they are questioning a lot of uh, Michael Wolf's um, information, but like a lot of it sounds accurate to me in terms of quotes and, you know, Steve Bannon and like, you know, the way that Michael Wolf did it, he was very smart in the, in the way that he got his quotes. Um, he did it from the perspective that he was friends with um, I believe it was Mike, uh, uh, Steve Bannon and um, Mueller, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But I think he did it in that context so that he was able to get the information he needed in order to write this book. So a lot of the information in it is accurate. I haven't read it yet, but I want to read it. I think you got to read it too. Yeah, and if anybody's read it and, you know, just give us your thoughts. 
Um, I, what I really wanted to say is, um, in, you know, voice your opinions. I know that we 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 joke around and say a lot of things, but ser all seriousness, speak your mind. Be honest. You know, even on social media, we sh they're sharing like all these jokes and things like that. No, be serious and, and voice your opinions. We're voicing in a very professional manner. Yeah. And let people know, you know what, you're not doing a good job. You, um, you know, what you're doing is not fair. And you know they have a, a, a petition. Yeah, I know that's a, a petition. petition. to have him impeached. Vanessa um, just said that, um, you know, he hasn't done much for Puerto Rico. Her parents still doesn't have electricity. Do you know how long ago that, um, that yeah. hurricane was? Yeah. And people still are walking around. With no electricity, that is, and and then not only that, I was watching on the news. Police don't want to work anymore. Right, they got officers that can't be paid. Exactly, and they There's are some electricity, without electricity. Not, electricity. They're not going to get until May. Hi Sheila. Hi Dad. Daryl's from England. Hi, I went to school with Daryl. Hi Daryl. No shade, honey, but um, I can't live. Listen. I have been there with like my electricity going off. I can't go <laughs> one day without electricity, let alone weeks or months. Yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah. I would probably have a hard time. You can't charge your phone. You can't use it. You can't do anything. You yeah. can't cook. You can't yeah. do anything. I can't imagine. So blessings and peace to those in Puerto Rico that don't have electricity. If it were me, I'd be on the first flight smoking to um to the States uh, up here somewhere where um, I could turn some heat on, some lights. Also, even the, even with the the, the big phone. yeah, even with the big mudslide in California, have you heard anything about that? The five, it, it, you know, it's all I'm so fall. used to the president at least coming on and speaking and saying we're going to offer aid. I mean, it's good to hear your commander in chief offer some kind of condolence or concern. Honey, it's her, it, it tore down Oprah's house. Yes, Oprah and Ellen's house. Like, oh my God! Like that is, you know, I mean. Not that it's any worse than anybody else's, but like when you hear stuff like that, that is incredible. And you know, and they're knocking, and they're knocking Oprah, but yeah, Oprah's um, using her 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 site as a command center. Yes, and you know, here she's lost a lot. Yes, we we know she's got a lot of money, but at least she's she's trying to do something. And you know, here we have our commander in chief just like turning a blind eye and just doesn't care. And you want to be on? You have no time to be on the golf course. He's at Mon 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 Monologo. Yeah, you have no time. When you're running a country, you do not have time to be on a golf course. I run a simple little business, and I do not have time to be on a, a golf course. And you're on the okay. golf course every single minute. What gives? Come exactly. on now. That's, it's, it's just reference. Just that in itself says a lot. You know, you're more concerned about your golf than you are about the country. You know? And then I had the nerve to um, be criticizing Obama. Please. I wish Obama would come back. <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> please, yeah, please say amen. Because I would love for Donald Trump, I mean, um, excuse me, uh, Obama to come back right. into office. Someone said that she's on her second generator because the first one broke. No money for help. Um, liar in chief is our P POS. Well, I know I don't want to spend any more time on, on, on Trumpy, except for I got one more thing to say. The bear. The bear. <laughs> Whoever buys this bear, we don't have a picture of the bear. I know we don't, but you know what? Maybe tomorrow we'll show, we'll we'll put a picture up of the bear. It's called Trump, the Trumpy Bear. Yes. Who? Okay. There's a bear called Trump. He's gonna make bear. me. He's gonna make me get, <laughs> twist my wig right now. <laughs> you are only you're not in the first year wasn't even over yet, and you had a Trumpy bear. And it has blonde hair. It's a bear. It has blonde hair swooped to the side. It's quite. I'm not going to tell you what. Um, if someone brings that bad to me, don't even believe me. Just don't do it. Just don't you no, don't do it because he's not going to like it. He's not going to like it. He's going to the fireplace. Like, no, fire. in the fireplace. <laughs> Tinder, Linda, Pinder, whatever. <laughs> no, that will keep me warm. <coughs> Hi, Sandy. How are you? No. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, and the bear is ugly. It, it's, it's atrocious. What, who's going to do a bed with a size? So come on now. And it's $40. And it's $40. Just to try and you make You guys don't believe us? Google it. Google yes. Trumpy Bear. And you will see. You will see. It's, it's real. It's really a bear out there called Trumpy. So anyway, on to other topics. Uh, well, I um, I wanted to just ask everybody about um, the, the whole uh, New Year's resolution thing. And I know that I know the big thing is health. Either you want to gain weight, either you want to lose weight, either you want to uh, uh, just be live a healthy lifestyle. Uh, there's, I'm, I'm confused 
I'm confused because I myself, I want to just, you know, I'm trying to get into the uh, area of just living healthier. Uh, but all these diets, they're killing me. Um, there's a paleo diet. The What other diets are there? I don't know because I ain't never been on one. <laughs> like, you don't need to be on one. You're a stay. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. She's from Sheffield. Your school friend. All my school friends are coming on. Wow. Crosky, very worldly. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, you know, people not up. No, mm. So I wanted to get an idea of, of, for everybody that's watching. Tell us um, uh, what what are you doing for um, live, living a healthy lifestyle? Are you working out? Or are you, you are you on a specific diet? And you have any suggestions? Um, and while we are pondering that. I want to go in. I think we have some people here that want to try and come in. So let me see if I can get an in picture here. Oops. Wrong one. Uh, Tiger friend, Tiger friend. Uh, okay. So if anybody wants to come on. Let's see if we can do this one. Is it possible? I don't know. Mary Ellen Carrigan is watching us. Hi, Mary Ellen. How are you? Where are you from, Mary Ellen? Let us know. Hi, Andrea. Andrea is my uh, sister-in-law. Hi, Miss Liber. Well, you know, for me, I guess I shouldn't say um, I'm not completely on a diet because I am. And I've realized it recently, <laughs> recently I've had to really be serious but you know you know i'm a, I'm a dialysis patient mm -hmm. so one of the biggest things about being a dialysis patient is i am not supposed to i'm supposed to wait, stay away from phosphoric foods okay so that's like cheese tomatoes there's all kinds of stuff that i'm not really supposed to indulge in right. and then they give you these pills that you're supposed to take in order to keep the phosphorus down okay um i don't really listen I have a real problem with it. <laughs> oh, yes, you all have hard so, If I want Popeyes, <laughs> if I want Burger King. And cheese is like one of my favorite things to eat. So I'm eating cheese like 24 7. Oh, you, you know that cheese is my weakness. Yeah, I know. Uh, that is my but like, weakness. you know, you go to Wendy's, you don't want a hamburger, you want a cheeseburger. Right. It's just kind of like natural. And so what what I've learned is now is when, you, when your phosphorus is high, it makes you itch. Oh my God, my back had, was itching like I thought it was on fire. So I had to really tone down a lot of my phosphorus <laughs> foods. <laughs> and I also had to start really taking the, of the pills because my back, like it was to the point where I couldn't sleep. It was ridiculous. Well, so when so, you do you do you substitute anything to give you that same uh, satisfaction? Of, not yet. Not yet. I just what I'll do is I make sure. If I'm eating the phosphoric foods, I'll just make sure I take the pills behind it. Okay. But it's like you have to take like four of them, and they're like horse pills. <laughs> she so, even said cheese fondue. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to be really, have to be really careful. But what I started doing is taking the pills. Right. So the pills toned it down. My back is not itching. As you see, I haven't been going like this today. Okay. So it's it's okay, it's toned down a whole lot. Um, oh, so Shirley wants to be in our video. Hold on, Shirley. Um, um, let's see where, how do we do this? Uh, shall we? It's still a work in progress. Yes. Hold on. And while you're doing that, I will sip. I'm just sipping away. And so am I. I'm sipping away. Mm -hmm. Using my Apple Watch to ensure I do more exercise each day as not to so keen on full dieting that's a great um that is a great um uh advice daryl um you know they have the fitbits now and the and the apple watches yeah and sometimes yeah. i think that when you see you, you challenge yourself it's it's a it's a natural uh, reinforcer yeah and challenging yourself you know to do more when you see that you only have 10 steps okay tomorrow i'm going to do 12 steps because you know right. we're always sometimes competing against ourselves if you do it naturally, then you don't realize that you're really working to a better. Uh, and I'm getting maybe. old, like I'm telling you, I my my bone. You know, my bones be crackling and stuff. Remember, I was showing you how yeah. when I was doing a twist and it kept going. And I'm like, what is going on here? Like, what? Do I need something like else? Do I need to start, to start taking more vitamins or 
or exercising or get on a treadmill or what because yeah but you know i do a lot of sitting so you know when your body gets accustomed to sitting right it gets accustomed to being in that position so being at the house for four hours a day sitting here, you know sitting here for an hour driving when i'm doing my uber yes yes i'm an uber driver on the side <laughs> doing that five hours sitting in the car you know all of that stuff takes a toll so so you know that's also something to um to be aware of you know when it comes to well, exercise and, and, and all yeah that. I, well I, yeah that's a good good and and because you know these diets they they are they they're not not every diet works for everybody and not every diet is really good for you so i'm just um you know i, I just wanted to know because it seems like and now dr house as a whole new diet just made up a whole new diet back to back combining i think the paleo diet and another diet so you know everybody's just making up diets now do they work i was watching dr oz um show and they had like a, a whole bunch of women there like maybe let's say 10 women and the 10 women each did a Different diet time. and they, they compared each diet how much weight they lost over a period of time and which one was most effective pretty interesting so which one? I don't remember. Hi, bye, Daryl. He has to drive, so take care. You're going to get blue, too. Hi. <laughs> and hi, Susan, Clara. And, hi, Kermit Mackey. I don't and know Sharonda. What, and Sharonda. Sharonda Alexander. And, oh, wow, we've got quite a few people on board today. And and Vanessa says, she says she wishes there was a cure for multiple sclerosis. My ex actually um had that. Um, more of a wish, but it's all right she, you, so you have multiple sclerosis one day at a time i totally i totally agree with you that's what you got to do you have to take it one day at a time but she's a trooper vanessa you are a trooper because i see you do some things i mean you know she's trucked up to fashion shows and come to and attended shows and um i just um you know i've seen her just do things you know when you, you when you're unstoppable you're unstoppable and when you have the volition and you have the determination to do whatever you need to do, you can get through anything, anything. So, oh, <laughs> Vanessa says she is on a Puerto Rican food diet, food diet rice and beans and meat. Just listen, all you can eat diet. Okay? That's what most Puerto Ricans eat anyway. <laughs> yeah. rice and listen, Ish, shout out to my best friend Ish. Girl, his mother, all she makes. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Goya. Puerto makes some, woo, some really good dishes. Goya. Goya. Oh, God. Goya will turn you out. Right? <laughs> Goya. <laughs> yeah, the guy Goya rice and beans. <laughs> so <clears throat> we want to know what's on your mind. Do you guys, any of you guys have something that you want to talk about? Tell us and we'll, we'll, t we'll touch on it. So, you know, just think about that. You have, we're going to do that for about five, 10 minutes. If you have anything that you want to talk about. Yeah, advice, anyone, advice time. Like, you know, you know, you have any questions about um, relationships or. Um, anything that's on your mind. What, what's on any your child mind? Issues, fashion. Food, fashion. Because, you know, we, we know about fashion. We right? do. We certainly know about fashion. She knows a lot. Bro. She just taught me a lot of things. Yeah. I just like to dress cute. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, do, you, you do your thing. You definitely do your thing. I but mean, I've you learned a lot from you. Yeah. You know, this you. Part, like even just us putting the show together and production and, you know, all that stuff. Oh, by the way, my book, be sure to check that out. Uh, Mirror, Mirror is the second book. The first one is Love Yourself First. They're both on Amazon. Paris O'Neill is a model that I've worked with. My pa our parents? So, yeah. I did, the, a, I did the photo shoot. Yes. With. Oh, gosh. I wish we had the all And Paris is, I call her my, uh, my supermodel. I worked with Paris uh, for many years, and she's now a cover girl. Is she? Oh, really? she's a cover girl. Get out. She she's needs to be. a cover girl on, uh, on there online, and uh, I'm so proud of her. And she's just taking the world by storm. But she's, oh my gosh, she's got legs for days. Yes, she does. When we did that photo shoot, her did, legs was wrapped around me six times. I did her, <laughs> I did her first photo shoot, did her makeup, walked her through her angles. And actually, um, she still uses one of those pictures uh, on her comp card, and it gets her a lot of work. So thank you, Paris. I know we talked about that. Oh, Diva, thank you. Hi, Maris Monroe. Mar Maris Monroe. I love you too, Paris. Thank you. 
Wow, yeah, she she's a great model. I I was so nervous that uh, that shoot that we did because she was bringing it, honey, and I was like, oh my god, I'm not a model, but well, she's a perfect was, example of when I talk when I say I was trying to I was and, so and, my she's, bad. and she's acknowledging she's the perfect example of when I say when you have good uh, uh, advice and training, just do what you have to do and work extra hard and just pay attention she still uses tips for her shoes that i told her way back when um and look at her now and and she's just going everywhere you know um, and she's every little every little thing that i i told her she's done and now she's a cover girl and she, cover, cover girl cover girl i love easy it. breezy beautiful i cover love girl. it so you don't have to go through america's next top model <laughs> you, know, you don't girl. have to you, you know? don't believe on four <laughs> You know you're well, you know, you know, you know, you know, I mean there's so many just you just gotta work very hard and you know and, and, and train yourself and practice your craft and, and and learn your craft. Practice it, learn it, do and, and, and just throw yourself into it. It's not that easy. Some women are discovered and even when they discover they know nothing. And when you go to agencies, they want you to go above and beyond and learn yourself because you just go upon a wall. They expect you to be ready to go. So if you're on a wall and they pull you down to go to a photo shoot and you don't know how to take shots or know your angles or know which is your best side. So I can just walk into it and I can do it, right? I can just go in and hit it. Well, if you know, like, yeah. well, if you know for, your, for your photo shoots, you know you because you've done a lot of shoots, but you have, and that's why models do a lot of test shoots. Girl, I can't so they can know models. what works for them and what doesn't work for them. I can't be no on model. <laughs> First of all, A, I'm too old, and B, I don't have the patience <laughs> all the time. They be like, I, they, they, the designer be like, said the wrong thing to me, and I'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah, he, he's kind of short fuse. He is Hi, Kevin Williams. So, Vanessa said, I love fashion and make jewelry and other stuff. So, tell us a little bit more, Vanessa, about your jewelry. Yeah, we would love to know. Remember, people, you can come on here and you know, you can um, be invited and we'll show your jewelry, we'll show your business, we'll show your brand. Um, there's no fee, there's nothing, it's just, just come on, you know, it's about community, it's about uh, coming together, camaraderie, right. just, you know, everybody coming together. If we can't do it this way, then we're, we're a lost, uh, we're a lost call. I completely agree. Kimi Lucky Bacon joined. Hi, Kimi, how are you? Oh, she does baby doll angels on Facebook. So why we'll don't you why don't you put your link on, on in, in this and this way people can go in and look it up and then they can you can tag people. Hi, Charlene. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Charlene, if you want to come on camera, you're more than welcome to come on camera. Anybody wants to come on camera, come on camera. Sure. Welcome. We'd you. love to have you. But in, also, okay, let me tell you. Um a little bit more entertaining things. Okay. So apparently, um, Chris Brown. I heard this is not another thing I heard today. Chris Brown apparently bought his daughter a monkey, a like a baby. Like I saw the baby. Hold on a second. 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 I need a big up for that one. There's gonna be a follow up after this story for that one, but. You going to tell that story, honey, about the zoo? Oh, uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but he bought um, he bought his daughter, thank you, Charlie, a monkey, and the monkey is adorable. It's, I swear to you, it's, she she had it and it had um, a pimple on, and it was really really. Cute. They're adorable until they get older, honey, and then when they start crapping all over the place. I mean, monkeys, well, I understand, are very hard. Um, so, animals to to yeah. raise, and they just go <laughs> over the place. I mean, I you know. I, I, I'm not. I'm not even going to. I mean, I, you know, I, I, first of all, I'm partial to monkeys. After one snatched my wig at the zoo, I'm partial to monkeys. And I will tell my story. Maybe I, I'll save that story. But yes, a, a monkey snatched my wig at the zoo. That's a story. So I'm partial to monkeys. So that's hilarious. I love. I've always loved monkeys. I have a stuffed animal. What's his name? Um. Uh, <laughs> you forgot my stuffed animal's name that's a monkey? Oh my god, Yvonne. How Luke! Cute. Thank you. I have always been a lover of monkeys. Not that I could ever have a real one, but I've always had a stuffed animal. And my my most current one's name is Luke. Right. 
Anyway. How long have you had Luke? Um, I've had Luke for at least nine years now. Oh, we always have, and we always end up for some reason. That one and I always end up with like these weird stories with monkeys because we have another friend who's a designer, and she will give you a story about a monkey and how she went all the way all over Brazil <laughs> yes. of, with a monkey, yes. and the monkey yes. caused all this problem. Yeah, it just seems like we have issues with monkey. And then there was the whole monkey with um with the uh, um the whole H&M thing. It just seems like monkey is the topic of interest. Well, these days. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this cute monkey, apparently um, the uh, haters of Chris Brown went back and contacted the um, Animal Society or whatever, and they went to his house and like raided his house and took the monkey away. Like literally, like. But but I don't understand why is it against? Because yeah, it's against the law. You're not supposed to have like it's an endangered. Um, well, I, I know I see people that always have monkeys and they have monkeys. I see it on television. So is it the state? I Maybe it was the state that they, that he lives in, and it where is that the kind of monkey he has. That's true. Uh, or whatever, but. Cause don't the monkeys can't monkeys carry diseases too? Oh, yeah, oh yes. Oh, see, that, yeah, yeah, that, no, no. I would love to have a monkey like Michael Jackson had, but he but that did a lot of work. Yeah, it's not like you know you could just you know well, you them. Yeah, you're gonna have and, the money. You have to have to pay the people, the, the keepers, and everybody. To and they, the and they're very um, they're very temperamental. They will tear you apart if if you don't give them the attention. Well, remember the lady that was on Oprah that she um she had a gorilla or something like that and it tore her friend's face off. <laughs> it's not funny. Like, it's not funny, but it's I mean, why funny, would you have a gorilla? a gorilla and then think that okay, a gonna... monkey is one thing, but a gorilla? Then we talking about a whole. Nother no, I, I don't know if it was. It, I want to say gorilla. What's the other gorilla? Um, a chimpanzee. No, wasn't a um, a baboon. Baby, like a baboon. Okay, well that they're big too. Yeah, no, it's just it's that's too what big. we can roll our eyes. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the one they have no hair on them behind. Right. <laughs> I would not want a, a bear ass monkey running through my house. I don't think that would be very appealing. No, I don't think so. You keep on a diaper. <laughs> you keep on a diaper. Hi, Charlie. Thank you. I appreciate oh. it. And you're doing great work, by the way. So what else do we have here? Oh, wow. Okay. So Vanessa did put her um her link up. So you guys, if you want to check out some cool jewelry, go to Vanessa's um, Facebook page and you can see what she has available. And what else is going on? Oh, Escape Party. You know, their tour. They did a yes. tour. Yeah. What I need from you is understanding. <laughs> that girl, Escape, was it for me in high school. Oh, my gosh. I love this. That's the escape is uh, with um, Candy, Candy and Tiny, Tiny and, and Natasha and right. I forget the other one's name. But they finally got back together because this was going on. This has been going on. And, and you but know, I Candy didn't want to sing with them or something. No, she had a real attitude. She had a real, real. But why? Oh, she uh, something happened with. Well, I think, apparently, I think. I think she was in a relationship with Jermaine Dupree. Ooh. This was back in the day. Do like, tell. Do this tell. was back in the day. Oh. I think that she had a, 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 a relationship with him. And, and then the um, the group members started getting upset um, because she was getting like more um, attention than the others and something along those lines. And it got really ugly. So that's how they ended up breaking up. Um, and then, I mean, there was a lot of drama in between that made them break up. But then, like, they wanted to get back together, and Candy just totally refused. But you gotta remember, Candy is a ball. Yeah. Like, if you watch Housewives of Atlanta, which I want to get into in a minute, um, Candy is always like, they got a restaurant, and she's doing a play, and she's doing it. She always got something going on. So, in her mind, she ain't really need them. Right. Like, you know, she got buku dollars, and it really, really, really unbothered. You know, and they wanted to get back together. So finally, I think after. I mean, it was to the point where when they had the 20, Def Jam had their 25 year um, celebration, Candy didn't even show up. <laughs> she didn't want to be at the in the situation. So I think now, I think she kind of got over it and she did do the tour. So the tour was like, I think it was all over the country. It was here, in, I know it was here in Jersey. I wish I would have went. Tamar was there, you know, I love me some Tamar. Oh, he's and, in love with oh, Tamar. Oh, gosh. 
I said, I don't know if I can work with her. Sorry, she's a diva. <laughs> I don't know if I can work with her, but I love her on the camera. I mean, she's a diva. I mean, you're a diva. I don't, I don't know either. But she'd be like, she, her, me, and all of that, girl. So and you, you were like, she, her, me, her. Yeah, you know, like, she, her, me, yes. her going on. So. You know, the, the next day is like, <laughs> excuse me. Hi, Sheldon. Girl, How wait, are you? Wait a minute. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle Fluka. Nice, nice that you came on. BJ Murphy, hello. Yes, hi. Hi, everybody. We're so glad that you're here. Thank you for joining us. Um, so we have, you know, just a few minutes. Um, uh, um, girl, you interrupted well, my story. Girl. Right, well, go ahead. Because uh, I thought you finished. No, but I wasn't done. I was saying that, like, you know, if, um, you know, with Tamar, girl, I have to snap my neck. But anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so Escape did a very successful tour. They sold out all of their um, show dates. Mm -hmm. And Candy, they're doing an album. But Candy's not going to be a part of it. Oh. So I'm not exactly sure why. But we will find out for we'll, you. We will find out. You know, and is there certain scoops that you want us to find out? We can find out. Yes. So, you know, yes, give we us some. Have the um, we do have to know. Don't, yes, don't we get, do. Don't get full. We do have yeah, to know. Oh, yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, we do. So, um, okay, you know, there's, there's been a lot of celebrity mix up. And I know you talked about the Kardashians. What do you think about this Hollywood Time's Up and this whole sexual thing? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think we discussed this a little bit yesterday. Yes, but I really wanted to touch again um, on it today. I just think that this is just become it. It's becoming. It's almost like a trend at this point, right? You know, like um, I've been sexually harassed. Like, you know, oh, or if you like, oh, so I like, I love your, and then it turned into this big spill out of a mess. But at the same time, I agree. I definitely agree with you on that. But I mean, I'm glad that there has to be a change, though. There needs to be a change because there, people have been taking advantage of. Certain people have been taken in power. The casting couch. Yeah, the casting couch. There's, the casting there's a lot of casting couch. There's a lot of casting couch. Still is. And still is. It always open. will be. And it's not over. Like Charlene said, it's not over. Listen, here's my thing. If Bill Cosby asked me to um, go in the back room with him, and he was going to give me a multi-million dollar contract, I'm going in. Okay? I'm keeping it real. And I can bet you 90% of these women that Bill Co they claim Bill Cosby or Harvey Weinstein or, or, or these big top producers um, sexually harassed them. I can guarantee you that there was something behind it that gave them a uh, run for their money. True. Because there's no way I'm sitting at the bar, um, or let's hear here I am a towel up in, in LA or somewhere, and here comes Harvey Weinstein sitting next to me. And he says, I want to give you an opportunity to be in the movie. But if you go upstairs with me to my hotel room for a few hours, that's yeah, what I mean, to do. Yeah, but now, you know, but I, 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 now. Would you do it? No, honestly, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. For a $5 million contract? Not for $5 million. I wouldn't do it. No. I'm just not. So you that's, stay right here on fashion. I would stay right, right here on fashion. I'm just you'd serious. Like, you'd be, you'd, you know I'm you'd be serious. by yourself, right? That's right. <laughs> I'm going to stay. <laughs> no, you have to draw a line somewhere because it, it just needs to. And, and I just feel like you have something home, over you. He has something over you. He always has something over you. And I don't don't want that. Well, do they? Or do you have something over them? No, not necessarily. They will have something. I, to me, they'll always have something over you because, you know, it's, it, well, it, it depends on how you look it, at exactly. it. Exactly. And I just, I'm not, not even for $5 million. I'm but I can honest. see you being the one that twisted around. Oh, yeah, honey. I'm like, you like, do it and be <laughs> like, oh, no. Exactly. Oh, I'm going to the press. Exactly. I'm that kind of person. I am that I, kind I of person. I see you be the every, as anybody as knows you, him, I'm that kind of person. As opposed to him saying to you, well, if you don't do this, this, and this for me again, then you won't get another movie. I can see you saying, oh, well, if you don't give me another movie, I'm going to the P-R-E-S-S. <laughs> And we are going completely public. And then you be, you, there you go. Yeah, you know, if anybody knows me, they, they know that. Um, my mouth, the first thing, the first thing that I'm going to give them the side eye, like. Girl, you know that <laughs> way, man. You know you be giving them the girls, honey. You go to certain events and you be letting the girls, well, that, letting see, the that, girls that's, flop. That's as far as it goes. That's as far as it goes. But that's me being me. 
That's me being comfortable who I am. Now you want to take it another way. That's that's that. Okay, issue. girl. But what if somebody like Harvey Heights said they like their your your girl? Well, you can compliment me. That's it. That's the story. Like, well, I, well, I, don't you, I don't want you up in my cleavage. Look, I want to want to be in the cleavage. No, no, no. First of all, no. Harvey, Harvey, you mean, have you seen it? <laughs> Have you seen Harvey Weinstein? I don't, I don't guess care. He was bad I don't though. give a who. I mean, it's got to. I got to get it, honey. Listen now. If it was The Rock, now it might be a different. Story. Oh gosh! So now we're about how they look. No, I'm just, I'm just being facetious. Oh boy! <laughs> so The Rock was like, "Come on, let's go up to for five million dollars." Girl, with all the things you do for free. I know. I, I might just reconsider. <laughs> and everybody knows me. I'm in love. Same. <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson, if you're out there, you know, I'm telling you right now, if anybody can, just pass the word on to him. I just want to touch his arm. <coughs> no, no sexual harassment. I just want to touch his arm. I just want to say hello. You. That's no, it. No. That's no. it. She you going to know. No, no, I know so many celebrities, but you know, I just cannot get to him. Nope. She's going to jump over the uh, turnstile. <laughs> She's going to fly kick whoever's in the way, and she is going to leap on his neck. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> So, Dwayne, Dwayne, if you're or out there, Idris Elba. Yes. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. Both. Oh. See. And he's English too. See, she's starting to sweat. <laughs> God, good thing we only got eight Ooh. minutes left, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne, if you're out there, I'm gonna say it again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be surprised if you get an inbox, honey. Oh my really God. See, I was, I was, I'm blushing already. Oh my God. Okay. Just talking about him. So, so I've been so busy with everything. With everything, the books and the promotions and getting ready, and you've been busy with your clients. And everything. I have not watched Love in Hip Hop in weeks, or The Real House Housewives of Atlanta. So, if any of you know what's going on, please can you fill me in because I am lost and I really want to know. I know I have, I have it. I can watch TV and just do it, but I would love to hear from you guys what is going on on Love and Hip Hop. And what's going on? And and also love it with um, Beverly Housewives of uh, the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Please you watch some Beverly Hills? Yeah, what? once in a while. I like to. I like to. You like your yeah. love and hip hop. I like my Beverly Hills once I was, in a while. I like so if, I, I haven't had a chance to watch those. So if anybody watches those shows, please you know chime in and let us know because we've been really really busy. Hi Andrea. Oh my fellow queens. Um, and I don't mean that she is actually a a, a beauty pageant queen like I am. Oh, girl, that's a whole nother um, avenue, girl. You just all over the place. People what? from work, people from from yeah. Greenwich, people from pageantry, you know. long pageantry. Oh, oh, <laughs> we girl. Met, oh, Amanda Gentle, we met at Rio's in New York a couple of weeks ago doing the Miss Full, full Size. Not sure of the formal title awards work. That might oh, be that might be for you. That was probably I did, I did yes, I yes. Hi. I think I remember Amanda. I think I remember. Okay, I, I I couldn't tell you I wasn't there, so you should have been there. I know I wasn't feeling. Because you're well. a passing girl. I know, but I was. Remember, I was sick and I wasn't feeling well. Oh, so okay. I would have been there. I mean, the whole world was there. That my whole community was there. Yeah. So please tell me if if any of you guys knows what's going on with um, you know, love and hip hop or um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Miss Nene Leaks, because I I know Nene is back on the show. And you know, you know, she has a new store. Yeah, you know, uh, one of our friends who's a, a designer, I think FFN FNM Designs, she's working with Nene Leaks now. Oh, she has they gave her, us Glamour. Yeah, Glamour. Ah, That's our new word is Glamour. Yes. That's our word. I'm letting everybody know. Don't even try using it. Glamour, Glamour. means fabulous. Mm. Yes. And, uh, she's yes. working with Nene Leaks now. She yes. actually has, a, 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 I think, a small fraction of her life in Nene and Leaks. They, so, I want to go to Atlanta just to see the new store. Well, yeah, and then he's looking, for, girl. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. it on um on Instagram. I saw. Did you see what the ponytail? She looked really nice. She really looks is looking fabulous. I gotta say. Hi, Tara. Tara Renee. Hi, Tara. Oh, She's getting ready to go for Sundance this week. Yes, so, I mean, Tara, she, you're doing another Sundance. fabulous person. Yes. Hi, Tara. Hi, Tara. Tara. Oh yeah, she's so, she's another one. Yeah, she's involved in Sundance. And then that's the event we went to. Um, I know and that's, what that's the, Sund that Sundance is this. Very big. And, and and it was it was really fast because I was sitting next to Lisa Everson. <laughs> 
on one side and bring the black women on the other side. And I was like, don't I know you from something? Oh, Lisa Evers. Oh my goodness. That was really Oh, funny. um, Charlie wants to know, uh, where did you get your scarf from? It looks fabulous. Oh my goodness. I don't tell my secrets. Oh, come on. Now. I got it online. Okay. I ordered it online on I don't even remember where I ordered this. So oh, oh, it's not even. This is all oh, um, eBay. I got it on eBay, I believe, and it took forever to get here. But you know what? Tell him about your, your what you do. He lives. I live on eBay. I, I love. You know what it is? He I think I'm, I'm, I'm a I'm a man of a certain age now. And there was a time when I would go shopping in the mall and be in the mall for four and five and six hours, but now. I can't even take 10 minutes anymore. My legs are hurting. Uh, my feet are hurting. <laughs> I'm ready to go sit down and have lunch. Like, I can't do it. If I go to the mall, I go to one store, and it's probably Macy's because I have a credit card with them. And I've learned to kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I've learned to kind of, I just love eBay. I love shopping online. Because it's like, first of all, it's almost like Christmas when you get the uh, package in the mail. It's like, oh my God, what came in? Like when my Stuart Wiseman gift came in, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. That was my Christmas gift to myself. It was um, a pair of suede Stuart Wiseman knee boots. And everyone loves them. I wore them on her, for her birthday party. Yeah, Vanessa says she loves eBay. Thank you for coming in, Capri Curvy Model Butler. Everyone wants to know if we're coming to I the Grammys. Yes, of course, of course girl, we will be there. No. We're trying to get our outfits together, honey. I gotta, Mine is already I gotta together. find the hairdo for this thing. And, and I don't know what shoes I'm wearing yet, but we will be definitely there. I will be the girl in full. In Hi, full Renuka, spin. my client, Renuka. Oh, fabulous. Oh, this designer. Let me see if we can bring out one. Oh, I hope so. Please. Renuka, can you come on for a little bit? It's saying adding. I'm hoping she can. Hi, Tiara. Thank you for coming in. But Aaron, we will definitely be there, honey. Believe you me. Hot or hell water. If, I don't care with the snowstorm. I will be in my invisible jet. I, 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 I'm going to tell you right now, though, if it's like two degrees or like anything below zero, because mm, everybody knows how I am. <laughs> it, it, it might not happen. But I'll push through just to you. I don't think that it's going to be too bad this week, Dad. I hope, no, it's supposed to be pretty nice. It's yeah. supposed to be pretty nice. Hi, Elisa, you're back. I see that you're back. Yes, yeah, Steven's, Steven's back. back. Steven, we, uh, we've got to have you on the show so that you can um give us the green goddess dressing honey yeah <laughs> Steven, has, I'll a, never forget Steven that. has something coming out we just put it i just put it on my facebook actually we'll just be promoting like it's got a new youtube like show coming out and it's called the uh comedy chef am i correct charlene um comedy chef or comedy cooking um and um but you can check my facebook page out and we're going to be sharing it and and promoting a little bit more but Definitely. Steven is going to be doing quite a Steven, bit. Steven, let me tell you something. Steven is the guy for TV. I am telling you, he has the most infectious smile I've ever seen in my life. And this this ocean of beautiful gray hair, he is just the absolute, he needs to be on television. And his yes. personality, his personality just jumps at you through the screen. He's He's wonderful. And he can cook his ass off. Bleep, 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 bleep. He can cook, he can cook his ooh, ooh. Oh, but Just before we go, Kimi Lackey Bacon says she has a, is an online shopping tool. It's safe and you can sip and shop laugh out loud. You know what? We definitely can agree to that. Ooh, sip cheers. And shop. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> <laughs> we would like to thank everyone for chiming in with us today. And we will be back with you again tomorrow. From 12 to 1. Absolutely. And, and we'll be chatting Hi, Cheryl. Up. I know. Come back and check us out tomorrow. We'll have a lot more topics. And please, if you have anything that you want, uh, what other days and times are you on? I've enjoyed you both. We're here Mondays through Fridays from 12 to 1. Yes. Those are the only days. But, you know, we can't do the weekends. That's for us. We need, we need, yes, we, we need to have a social life, too. And fashion, we I don't know yeah. how we're gonna pull that. Oh one yeah, off. fashion week. We we'll probably will be live. So um Yeah, you're right. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll be live. And we're yeah. gonna be doing some location shots too, um, shooting and taping. But thank you so much for joining us. We've had a blast on fashion, etc. As usual. As usual. 
And as I would always say, this is fashion, et cetera, is everything in between, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Ah, until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. Bye, Ciao everybody. Bye. Bye.